Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. This is Andy from Aging Gaming, and we uh, had some conversations with Poppy in our last episode, and she has sent us a um, message to come and find her, and she thinks she has a location on this cave that Doran the Centaur told us about. So, I guess we're going to go cave diving. So let's uh, go see Poppy. All the way down there, okay. I like Poppy. She's, uh, I think she's a really interesting part of this story. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You made it. We did. We're here. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Okay, well, let's go. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. And hopefully we won't I wonder if go you go mad. blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Maybe a sunstone. Huh. Revelio. Accio. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Depulsa! Revelio!
Couldn't find them. Yep. And what's this? I got it. What have we here? Got a hat. Revelio. I think we must access that from somewhere else. Whoopers! Okay. Whoopers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Whoopers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Rebellion. If the Moonstone is here and so are Whoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Rebellion. Protected by what? Why am I not surprised? First the Fuipas mm. and now this. Okay. Accio. 
Now we gotta we need find, to find a circle. for those spinners. <clears throat> or something like that. Akio. There we go. Perhaps the rooms Lumos. and walls have something to do with finding the moths. Lumos. Lumos. Might as well check this last one. Uh, the knot in the circles. If we pull the rings and match the runes, I suspect we will find the moths. Okay, Bobby. You can stop giving us hints now. Notice how it deactivated the wings dropped once we got it all the way open. I hope that means it's going to stay that way. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. I'm sure we can. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Merlin, it's beautiful. Devolso. Lumos. Okay, what do we do with it now? Oh, oh, oh.
Revelio. Lumos. Okay. So that's three. Now let's see what's behind here. You did it. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this again. Good job, Poppy. Bombarda. Revelio. We take a closer look. You read my mind. We're going here first. All right. <sighs> Go over here and get this. You never have too much work functions. Even more beautiful close up. It's it got nice. to be here. I just know it. Bombarda. Rebellion. Given what whoopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Rebellion. Which means we're one step ahead of them. Well, that would be nice. <laughs> Staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. All right, let's do that. Talk to Poppy. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the henge. Okay. Shall I don't we? know what the we hinge shall. is, but if we'll we find out. Now, we should make it there by nightfall. Well, Moonstone, Nightfall, that would help. That all makes sense. Kind of fits together. That's the henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. I don't, I don't think dangerous. Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. It's Let's nothing we can't handle. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Uh, that's a long drop. 
How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Oh, didn't have to jump at all. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. Okay, well, they're not exactly dangerous. is to see even one. They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Garan I've managed to see not one, but two mooncalf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... Uh, here we go. I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was... Also the night I ran away from home, a poacher camp. Uh -huh. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around, always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good upbringing. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there, acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. 
Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I don't know. Five years is a long... You go through a lot of changes in five years when you're 15, so... I guess she left when she was about 10. Eh. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. I like beating poachers. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Sounds like a plan. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. Well, it was quite a story that uh, Poppy told us. And the quest is complete. The centaur and the stone. Night, Poppy. Okay, well, I think we'll leave it there for today. Um, hey, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please take a moment and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave a comment, uh, share the video with your friends, all the things that YouTube loves, and it really helps out the channel. And uh, so we love it too. Um, I hope you have a great day. I've really enjoyed this. I hope you have too. And all that being said, this is Andy from Aging Gaming. See you next time. Bye.